Now, one of the main reasons that Boogie Woogie became America's pop music in the 40s was because of a concert held right here in New York City in 1938 at Carnegie Hall called From Spirituals to Swing. And it was put on by a producer named John Hammond. And one of John Hammond's goals with this show was he wanted to get together on the same stage the three greatest Boogie Woogie piano players of all time. He wanted to get Albert Ammons, Pete Johnson, and Mead Lux Lewis all together on three pianos on the Carnegie Hall stage. And the story goes that he could find Albert Ammons and Pete Johnson, but he couldn't find Mead Lux Lewis anywhere. And now it was getting, you know, close to the show time, uh, show date, and he couldn't find him. So he went to Chicago to try to track him down personally. Because he had, Mead Lux Lewis had kind of disappeared from the scene. And he's standing there talking to Albert Ammons, one of the other piano players, telling him his whole vision for the show and how he really wished he could get all three of them, but he can't find Mead Lux Lewis, and he's there to track him down, all this stuff. And finally, Albert Ammons, you know, he listens to him for a while, and he says, well, I know where Mead is. Follow me. So they go out of his apartment, they go around the block, and there, working at a car wash, washing cars for a living, they find Mead Lux Lewis, one of the greatest Boogie Woogie piano players of all time. So they talk to him, they sign him up for the show, and in the span of just three days, he goes from washing cars to playing at Carnegie Hall. Wow. So it just goes to show you never know when your lucky break is going to come. I can assure you guys, I've been washing cars in Queens for the last three months, and now I'm playing at the Beach Cafe. So, it works. It works. Uh, so this is, this is Mead Lux Lewis's most famous hit. It's called the Honky Tonk Train Blues. Okay. 